Gary, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. How's Cheltenham been for you so far? So far, so far it's been a bit wet. We were kind of rained off a bit yesterday. Train cancellations and a bit of rain, so that's fine, that's all right. So today we got started. We just started today, so there's a bit of a pressure on it. There we go. Um, but yeah, luckily there's a bit of bit better weather today, so good. We're cracking on with it. Excellent. And and how's it how's it going? I mean, it looks it looks fabulous. Can you tell me more Thank about you. about your bird? <laughs> about my bird. Um, yeah, I kind of I don't know. It was a last minute thing. I didn't know I was going to paint it this morning. I had another idea, but I thought we'll go with go with this one. Just mainly because of the texture of the board, because it's chipboard. So I had a look at the texture of the board, and I thought that'd be good for for feathers. Right, so in terms of preparation? In terms of preparation before getting down here, it was uh, minimal to none, um, which is normally how I do it, and kind of wing it, excuse the pun. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you hope for the best, and hopefully it turn out all right. And um, what does nobody else know about, about this piece, or your, well, probably winging it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what does nobody else know about this piece? I don't know if nobody else, but I have done this bird portrait before somewhere in Shoreditch. So maybe a couple of people will know that. I know it. My girlfriend knows it. But uh, there you go. Now more people know it. Brilliant. And, and what's important to you about your art? About my art generally, it's the most important thing. It really is. It's, it's why I exist and do what I do. It's it's my way of kind of trying to live my life as I want on my terms without having to come to a, a day job that I don't want. It's so I'm trying to make my passion work as a job because we all need a job. And if you can make your passion work as a job, you've kind of won. So, yeah. so far, so good. And how, how did you get into it? What, how did how painting on the streets and or street art as well street art um i don't know really we live in me and my girlfriend juicy who's painting next to me we we live in shoreditch and uh, there's a lot of street art around there um i always had a graffiti um interest interest in graffiti i was always when i was a teenager i was really into hip-hop music and that's part of it um but yeah, and then just kind of fell into it. I mean, it's the best way at the moment. Street art's very popular. It's the best way to get your artwork seen. I haven't done many pieces. I wouldn't say I'm the best at it, but I'm enjoying doing it. Yeah. And what about the rest of your art? Because um, where, where, where can we see see that? The rest of my art, um, I do a lot of I do a lot of album covers mainly. Um, that's my most visible work, but. I can be found at www.garyalfordart.com or I have a book that I did 10 years ago and that can be seen at www.bodc.co.uk. Excellent. And just a few curious questions. If you were a piece of art, mm -hmm. what piece of art would you be and why? I would be The Misanthrope by Peter Bruegel, the elder, I believe maybe junior but i think it's the elder because it's uh if anyone's familiar with it or want to look it up it's a it's a portrait of a rather um a man who's kind of a bit fed up with the world and the, the people and kind of sees them more he's kind of shunned it and he has his hood up and he's kind of walking away but the artist had left little clues that that's not the way to live your life there's little man traps that he's walking into and he's walking away from his crops on the land and as he walks away the land's kind of dying so it's a warning against my natural inclination to be kind of adverse to it all wow. and what would your 15 year old self say about your art i don't know um probably quite critical i think <laughs> yeah much like my 36 year old self uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. He might approve. Who cares what he thinks? <laughs> I was going to say, what, what advice would you give him? What advice would I give him? Um, just do more. Just do more art and stop worrying about um, the final 
the, the outcome. Just go with it more. Nothing has, don't be so OCD about it. Just do it and do lots more of it. And what advice do you think your 15 year older self would give you? I don't know. Uh, it'd probably give me the same advice back. I would have thought, yeah, yeah, haven't changed much. <laughs> yeah. Gary, thank you so much for giving me your time. You're very welcome. <laughs>